Alléluia. Amen. Alléluia. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Alléluia. 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 Thank you, Father. We worship you. Alléluia. Amen. Alléluia. 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 Hello, everyone. Welcome. Happy New Week and a happy new month to everyone. Hallelujah. Romans 6, verses 12 to 14 says, Do not let sin control the way you live. Do not give in to sinful desires. Do not let any part of your body become an instrument of evil to serve sin. Instead, give yourself completely to God. Hallelujah. Give yourself completely to God. For you were dead, but now you have new life. So use your whole body as an instrument to do what is right for the glory of God. Sin is no longer your master, for you no longer live under the requirements of the law. Instead, you live under the freedom of God's grace. Hallelujah. What an honor and a privilege to belong to the one who is able to wash away our sins and our sinful nature. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Into my heart, into my heart, come into my heart, Lord Jesus, come in today, come in to stay. Into my heart, Lord Jesus. Into my heart, into my heart. Come into my heart, Lord Jesus. Come into there. Come in. Into my heart, Lord Jesus, come in today, come in to stay, come in, come into my heart, Lord Jesus, hallelujah. Father, it's your children. We have come before you for the forgiveness of our sins. The sins we committed in part and in all. Sins that easily beset us. The sins of our proud look, proud act. Sins of manipulation, stubbornness, rebellious heart. All the sins that have given Satan a full stool in our lives. We ask that you cleanse us, cleanse us and wash us with your blood. Wash us from our filthy ways, almighty Jehovah. We ask for forgiveness for the nations, for the leaders, forgiveness over our church, our homes. We renounce every form of unrighteousness and we cling to you for mercy. Hallelujah. Lord, if there's anything in this hour amongst us that will not let you come down into our midst to do what you do best, that will not bring you into our presence, Father, have mercy and accept us in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Hallelujah. Come in today, 
come in to stay, come in to our hearts, Lord Jesus, come in today, come in to stay, come in to our hearts, Lord Jesus, hallelujah, amen. We want to welcome you to the powerhouse hour, soaking room experience. Here we worship the Lord and adore him to proclaim the goodness, his goodness over each and every one of us in a non-religious, non-traditional and non-conventional manner. If you're joining us for the first time or you're, and you're joining us right now, even at a later time, we know that the Lord has brought you across this broadcast. And we pray that you will feel his tangible presence wherever you are. And you will have an encounter with him today in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Please follow us as we continue to lift the names of Jesus up and as we continue to bring our brothers and sisters to the realization of his salvation over us. Please help us to share, to reach the end of the world. We want to win souls for the kingdom of God. We want to honor the commission that he left with us. And we want every nation to be touched. We want every heart to be changed. And we want none to be left behind in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Thank you, mighty Jehovah. Amen. Hallelujah. My hope is built on nothing else than Jesus' blood and righteousness. I dare not trust the sweetest way, but only lean on Jesus' name. On Christ the solid walk I stand. Oh, Lord, the ground is sinking sand. Oh, Lord, the ground is sinking sand. When darkness bears his lovely face, I rest on his unchanging grace. In every eye and storming gale, my anchor holds within the veil. On Christ the solid rock I stand, oh Lord, the ground is sinking sand. Oh Lord, the ground is sinking sand. His oath, his covenant, his blood, support me in the whelming flow. When all around my soul gives way, he then is all my hope and stay. On oh, Christ the solid walk I stand. Oh, Lord, the ground is sinking sand. Oh, Lord, the ground is sinking sand. When it shall come with trumpet sound, oh, may I then in him be found. Dress in his righteousness alone. Faultless to stand before the truth. On oh, Christ the solid walk I stand. Oh Lord, the ground is sinking sand. Oh, oh Lord, the ground is sinking sound. Hallelujah. Today, today, here at PHH, we're looking at Christ as our comforter, our comfort, the one that comforts us in the time of trouble, the one that comforts us in the time of need. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
Christ, our comforter. Amen. Hallelujah. It's 3 a.m. in the morning. And I'm still awake. So I pick up a pen and a page. And I started writing just what I'll say. If we were face to face, I'll tell you just what you mean to me. Tell you this simple truth. Be strong in the Lord. Never give up hope. You're going to do great things. I already know God's God's eyes on you, so don't live life in fear. Forgive and forget, but don't forget why you're here. Take your time and pray. These are the words I will say. Last time we spoke, you said you were hurting. And I feel your pain in my heart. I want to tell you that I keep on praying. Lord, we find you where you are. I know because I've already been there. So please hear this simple truth. Be strong in the Lord. Never give up hope. You're going to do great things. I already know. God's God's answer you so. Don't live life in fear. Forgive and forget, but don't forget why you here. Take your time and pray. These are the words I will say. From one simple life to another. I will say, come find peace in the Father. Be strong in the Lord. Never give up hope. You gonna do great things. I already know. God's going to answer you so. Don't live life in fear. Forgive and forget. But don't forget why you here. Take your time and pray. Thank God for each day. His love will find your way. These are the words I will, I will say. These are the words of comfort. So anyone out there wondering why me, why me? Christ is our comfort. And I say to you that the Father's eyes are upon you right now to comfort you. Watching over you with an assurance that all will be fine, all will be well in Jesus' name. So today I want to encourage, relax, chill and praise even when in the storms of your lives guess what he is a father a faithful one for that matter so even when you are not able to praise him when your hearts are heavy it will still be your comforter i think i had somebody say a big amen hallelujah <laughs> thank you jesus glory 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 amen Hallelujah. Oh, the goal is to praise him even in the storm of life. Hallelujah. Because that's the only way we can get into his presence and have joy. Hallelujah. I'll praise you in the storm. And I lift my hands. For you are who you are. No matter where I am, and every day I've cried, you hold in your hands, never left my side, 
so do my heart is torn. I will praise you in the storm. I will praise you in the storm. And I will lift my hands. For you are who you are. No matter where I am. And every tear I cry. You hold in your hand. You never left my side. Though my heart is torn. I will live, I will live, I will praise, I will live and praise you in, in the storm. I lift my eyes onto the hills. Where does my help comes from? My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. I lift my eyes unto the hills. Where does my help comes from? My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. Now I will place you in the storm and lift up my hands. For you are who you are, no matter where I am. And every day I've cried, you hold in your hand. And you never left my side, though my heart is told. I will praise you in the song. Oh, Lord, Father. We lift eyes onto the hills. Where does our help come from? I help comes from the Lord. You are the maker of heaven and earth. We lift our eyes onto the hills. Where does our help come from? I help comes from the Lord. The maker of heaven and earth. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, I want to read our pray, the Lord's Prayer, in the message version. Our Father in heaven, reveal who you are. Say the word right. Do what's best as above, so below. Keep us alive with three square meals. Keep us forgiven with you and forgiving others. Keep us safe from ourselves and from the devil himself. You are in charge. On this hour, in this hour, at PHH Lord and all over the world, you are in charge. And you can do anything that you want. You are a bliss in beauty. Hallelujah. Thank you, mighty Jehovah. As I said today, we're reaching out to God, to Christ as our comforter. Amen. Second Corinthians 1, verses 3 and 4 says, all praise to God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. God is our merciful Father and the source of all comfort. He comforts us in all our troubles so that we can comfort others. When they are troubled, we will be able to give them the same comfort God has given us. Psalm 94, verses 17 to 19 says, unless the Lord has helped me, I will soon have settled in the silence of the grave. I cried out, I am sleeping, but your unfailing love, O oh Lord, supported me. When doubt filled my heart, filled my mind, your comfort gave me renewed hope and share. The Bible tells us in Job 22 verse 28, 
that we will declare a thing and it will be established for you. We will declare anything we declare concerning the word of God, it will be established for you and I in the mighty name of Jesus. Today, we declare God as our comfort. We say that you are our comforter. We declare your compassion over us, almighty God. Your unending and unfailing love over us. If we sojourn to the death of the earth, Father, you will be there to comfort us and be our comforter. In the name of Jesus Christ. Revelation 7, 16 and 17 says, Never again will they hunger. This is the word of the Lord to you and I. Never again will they hunger. Never again will they thirst. The sun will not beat down on them, nor any scorching heat. For the lamp at the center of the throne will be the shepherd. Hallelujah. Yes, it will be our shepherd. It will be our comfort. It will be our relief. It will be our comforter. Hallelujah. It will lead them to spring of living water. We are constantly refreshed by the word of God, by our father himself, comforted on every angle. We are rejuvenated and we are restored in the mighty name of Jesus. And he says, and God will wipe away everything from their eyes. Hallelujah. Father, thank you. He will wipe away our tears from every situation that has proved itself to be difficult, that has proved itself to be stubborn, that has proved itself to be unyielding, immovable. Every word blocks to our way. He said, oh, Kaboshi Kalamakaseka, he will help us. And he will wipe away our tears. Hallelujah. We declare the word of God that he will stand for you and I against every odds in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, Father, thank you. According to 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verses 8 and 9, it says, we are pressed on every side by troubles, but we are not crushed. We are perplexed, but not driven to despair. He said we are hunted down by every situation and circumstances, but we are not abandoned by God. We get knocked down, but we are not destroyed. I declare today the name that's above every other name with the knowledge that we have of Jehovah, the one that does not waver, the one that does not change, the one that does not get tired, the one that does not sleep nor slumber over each and every one of us. We said, he is our comfort. That though, even though we may be troubled, we may be crushed, we may be perplexed, and we may be haunted and knocked down. We refuse to be driven to despair. We refuse to be dismayed. We refuse to be checked out. We refuse to give up. We refuse to quit in the name that's above every other name. And all because we bear the mark, the body in our body, the mark of our Lord Jesus Christ, the risen King. Hallelujah. And because there's a promise in Isaiah 51, 12 for us. He said, I, that's God himself. I, yes, I, I am the one who comforts you. So why are you afraid of mere humans? Who are like grasshoppers, like grass, they wither and disappear. Hallelujah. Father, we declare this afternoon that we will not be afraid of the terrible night or the hours that flies at no day because our Father encompasses his angels all around us. Lest we dash our foot against a stone. Hallelujah. Why? Because he is our comforter. Hallelujah. I will praise you in the sun. And I lift my hands for you are who you are. And no matter where I am, every tear I cried, you hold in your hands. Never left my side. 
Though my heart is stone, I will praise you, I will praise you in the storm. I lift my eyes onto the hills. Where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord. He is the maker of heaven and earth. I lift my eyes onto the hills. Where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord. The maker of heaven and earth. I'll praise you in the soul. And I'll lift my hands. You are who you are. No matter where I am, no matter the situation and circumstances. Hallelujah, he is a comfort, our comforter. Though us may be torn, and we will praise you in the storm. Hallelujah, hallelujah, thank you Jesus. In the eye of the storm, you remain in control. And in the middle of the war, you guide my soul. You alone are the anchor. Where my sails are torn, Father, your love surrounds me in the eye of the storm. It is saying, in the eye of the storm, our God remain in control. And in the middle of whichever war that we're facing, Every circumstances, every situation in our jobs, on our jobs, in our careers, over our family, over our homes, our marriages, our children, our health. He is our comforter. He says he remains in control. In the midst of the war, he is our battle ask, kaboshik, and he guides our spirit, our body, and souls together. So we are comforted. He is our hanker. When our sails are torn, when the winds is blowing the boats of our life to and fro, he remains our God. He remains our comforter. And his love surrounds us in the eye of the storm. Hallelujah. Thank you, mighty Jehovah. You are our God. You are our King. You are all that we need. We don't need anything else except you. You are our father. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. You are God of all comfort. You are my comforter, the lifter up of my head. You are my balm of Gideon. You are my physician, my alabaster job. You are my strength when I am weak. You are my all in all. You are my fortress, my shield. You are my strong tower. You are the gatekeeper of my life. You are my caretaker. Study. Hallelujah. You hold my every moment. You calm my rage, you see. And you walk with me through fire. And you know my. 
trust, I trust in you. I believe, Lord, that you are my healer. I believe that you are all that I need. I believe that you are my passion. I believe that you are more than in love for me. You hold my life in your hands. You watch over me. You are jealous over me and all that you have given unto me. My life is in your hands. Lord Jesus, oh, my life is in your hands. Hallelujah. To the King of kings and the Lord of lords. Hosanna to the master of the universe. I join the 24 elders of heaven to bow down before your throne. And I say, Father, you are holy. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty. The heaven is your throne. The earth your footstool. Who is like you, O oh Lord? You are who was, who is, and who will forever be. To receive glory, to receive honor, to receive power, and to receive majesty. Thank you for your comfort, Almighty Jehovah, when the world are comforted. Thank you, Father, for standing by when there's no one around. Thank you for your love, your joy, your peace, and your provision. Thank you for your protection and your saving grace. And will be your name, O God, in all the earth and in the heavens, underneath the earth. I worship you. I exalt you. I glorify you. I magnify you. I give all the praise. Thank you, Father. Oh, you are my comfort. You comfort me on every side. And I am held up. My head is lifted. Hallelujah to my shield and my comfort. Glory of God, I worship you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory. Glory to your holy name. Father, we bless you. We are grateful of your presence with us today hallelujah receive all the honor all the glory all the praise you are the god who blesses me and no one can curse me you cure the incurable diseases hallelujah you are the strong lion of the tribe of judah you are the uncreated creator mightier than the mightiest greater than the greatest stronger than the strongest you are my boss my manager my director my cfo and my ceo you are my shiloh my city of refuge my ark of the covenant thank you jesus you are the true and faithful one the horn of my salvation the lion and the lamb my pool of bethesda hallelujah my man have fallen from heaven yes you are the ruler of all powers principalities in heaven and in earth you open doors no man can close you shut doors no man can open you make a way in the midst of the waters yes you make a way where there seems to be no way you are the god in whom i trust my constant friend and companion, my faithful witness on high. Yes, you are my intercessor. You live it to intercede personally for me. Thank you, Jesus. You are my example, my role model. You are sweeter than honey on the honeycomb, the God of Abraham, Isaac, 
Jacob, Yabon, Natalie, hallelujah. You are the source of my strength in the midst of the journey. You are our perfect high priest forever after the order of Melchizedek. You are the ruler scepter. You are the surgeon who performs surgeries, leaving no scars. You're the one who says yes, and no man can say no. You are the covenant-making God, covenant-keeping God, covenant-fulfilling God. Thank you, Jesus. You are the death stone that show Goliath's hell. Thank you, Lord. You are the name changer, the destiny changer, the game changer, the giant slayer. Yes, you are. The mountain mover and the sea divider. You are the one who leaves 99 to come after us. Thank you, Lord. The one who finds and restores that which was lost. You are our battle axe. The name above all other names. The comforter. Yes, you are the God of all comforts. Marvelous one. Gracious one. Glorious king. That is your name. You have no equal. You should have no rival. You are God all by yourself. You are the ancient of days. Hallelujah. We bless you. We thank you. We say you are God and there is no other. You turn our mourning into dancing. Yes, you do. From the ashes, you call us into beauty. Thank you, Jesus. You're the one who makes everything new in our life. You are the word that was made flesh and dwell among us. You are the air that I breathe, the water that satisfies my soul, the food that quenches all my hunger. You are the victorious king, the risen king, the soon coming king, and the warrior king. You never lose a battle. You are the one who registered our names in the book of life, giver of grace, keeper of promises, the joy giver. That is who you are. We bless your name. Hallelujah. Your name. Your name shall be called wonderful. Your name, your name shall be called counselor. Almighty God. The everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace, throughout eternity, Almighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace, throughout eternity. Yes, Lord Jesus, you are wonderful to us. You are our counselor. You are almighty. You are the everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace throughout eternity. Thank you for your peace. Thank you for your shalom even now. Our souls are at peace with whatever is going on. We know that you are the one that calms the raging seas. You are the one that commands the storms keep quiet and they obey you. We thank you, Papa. We bless you. To you be all honor, all glory, all praise now and for eternity to come. Amen and amen. 
Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Blessed day to everyone joining us today. We believe that you are not here by mistake. Amen. But we believe that the power of God, His Spirit, has ordered your steps or orders your fingers to click on this video today. And we pray that you will not live the same as you came in, but that the resurrection power of Christ will touch you and make you brand new, a new son, a new daughter of the Most High God. Amen and amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Friends, today I want to look at John 11 in the New Testament, such a powerful account of Jesus and how he comforted one of his friends in particular, Lazarus. And we want to tell you that today, the same comfort which, which Jesus comforted Lazarus and his sisters, that the same comfort is available to you today. All you have to do is receive that comfort and your life shall not remain the same in Jesus' mighty name. In John 11, 1, it says, a man named Lazarus was sick. He lived in Bethany with his sisters, Mary and Martha. So the two sisters sent a message to Jesus telling him, Lord, your, de your dear friend is very sick. But when Jesus heard about it, he said, Lazarus sickness will not end in death. No, it happened for the glory of God so that the son of God will receive glory from this. Then he said, our friend Lazarus has fallen asleep. But now I will go and wake him up. Hallelujah. Friends, we declare over you today that whatever challenge, trial, tribulation, sickness you may be going through today, that it will not end in death in Jesus' name. Because today you have come to the one that is called the resurrection and the life. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name, whatever you may be going through, Jesus call it sleep. Hallelujah. And today, he has come to awaken you from your sleep. He has come to bring you back to life. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. Verse 21, it says, Martha said to Jesus, Lord, if only... You have been here. My brother will not have died. But even now, I know that God will give you whatever you ask. Jesus told her, your brother will rise again. Hallelujah. And Jesus told her, I am the resurrection and the life. Anyone who believes in me will live even after dying. Everyone who lives in me and believes in me will never, ever die. Do you believe this, Martha? When Mary arrived and saw Jesus, she fell at his feet and said, Lord, if only you had been here, my brother would not have died. Friends, there have been times in my life and maybe you too in your life, there have been times when you uttered the same thoughts that Mary and Martha authored to Jesus. You know, there are times I say, God, if only you had showed up five years ago, two years ago, two hours ago, 10 minutes ago, this would not have happened to me. Where were you all this time? But I've learned that even in my worst time, Jesus has always been by my side, comforting me, making my situation bearable. 
Amen. We have a loving Father, a kind and compassionate Savior. And I pray today that you will allow Jesus to comfort you by allowing him to take the highest position in your life, which is the position of Savior and Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Comforter, that's who you are to me. Comforter, a name that fits so perfectly. Peace that passes all understanding. Comforter, it's who you are to me. Faithful friend and father, I've called you through the years. You've been great physician when sickness lingered near. Through distressing moments, your name is new and sweet. You become comforter to me. Comforter, that's who you are to me. Comforter, a name that fits so perfectly. Peace that passes all understanding. Comforter. Is who you are to me. Hallelujah. Yes, Jesus has been my comforter and he remains my comforter today. Hallelujah. Yes, our lives are not easy. No one has an easy life. We all go through battles and challenges, but that one person that makes the difference is the comforter, hallelujah. Somebody giving you hope, somebody encouraging you, somebody telling you, you are valuable, you are important to me. I love you, I care for you. I will not allow the enemy to take you down. I will strengthen you even in the most difficult days yes he is the comforter and i pray today that he becomes your comforter too amen in verse 33 says when jesus saw her weeping when he saw mary weeping and saw the other people wailing with her a deep anger welled up within him and he was deeply troubled. Where have you put him? He asked them. Friends, this is who Jesus is for us. Every time that we are in pain, every time we are suffering, going through one challenge or the other, when the enemy is messing with us, Jesus gets angry and he rises up to comfort us by fighting our battle. Yes, we have a very good savior. Amen. And the text continued. They told him, Lord, come and see. Then Jesus wept. The people who were standing nearby said, see how much he loved him? Jesus loves us so much. He is a relatable God. There are many gods in the world, but there's not one that came down from his throne to become a mere man, to experience what he feels to be a man, what he feels to be in pain, what he feels to, to, to go through the death of a loved ones. There was no other God that did it but Jesus. Yes, 
He's a relatable God because he was a human like you and me. He knows our sufferings, our pain, our disappointments. And he weeps, he cries when we are not okay. He weeps when we are in trouble. He weeps when someone dies. He's a God who can feel all the emotions that we feel. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, for feeling my pain, for feeling my suffering. Thank you. The text continues. Jesus was still angry as he arrived at the tomb, a cave with the stone rolled across its entrance. So he commanded, Roll the stone aside. Jesus shall arise to defend you, to grant you justice in every challenge you are facing today in Jesus' name. May the grace of our Lord locate you wherever you are with favor and miracle today. We command every stone that is blocking your peace, blocking your healing, blocking your promotion, blocking your salvation to be rolled away now in the matchless name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. But Martha, Lazarus' sister protested, mm -hmm. Lord, he has been dead for four days. The smell will be terrible. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Jesus. Friends, you are listening to us today and you are thinking, there is not much that Jesus can do for me at this point. It is too late. You are thinking it's too late for me to overcome my challenges. Like Martha and Mary, you feel like the smell of your past is so terrible that Jesus will not come near you. You are thinking it's too late to change my life, to become all that God has planned for me to be. We have good news for you today we decree and declare that it is not too late for you, that this day is the day of your salvation. This is your day of new beginnings, fresh start. If you allow Jesus to take full control of your life, he's able even to call dead things back to life. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. You are good. You are calm. Yes, Lord, you bring the dead back to life. Because he is risen, my friends, you too, you can rise today. Because he lives, I can face tomorrow. Because he lives, all fear is gone. Because I know oh, oh, he holds the future, and life is worth the living just because he lives. God sent his son. They call him Jesus. He came to love. He let forgive. He lived and died to buy my pardon. And empty grave is here to 
prove my Savior lives because he lives. I can face tomorrow because he lives. Oh, fear is gone because I know he holds my future and life is worth the living just because he Hallelujah. Because he lives, you and I, we can face tomorrow. Because he lives, all fear is gone. Fear of what may happen. Fear of what we have lost. Fear of how much we have messed up. It is removed because Jesus is alive. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for this promise that because you rose, the price is paid. Hallelujah. The burden has been lifted off. The stone has been rolled away and we can all come out from whatever tomb we may be in because the life and the resurrection is here. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And in verse 40, it says, Jesus responded, didn't I tell you that you will see God's glory if you believe? So they rolled the stone aside. Then Jesus looked up to heaven and said, Father, thank you for hearing me. You always hear me, but I said it out loud for the sake of all these people standing here so that they will believe you sent me. Then Jesus shouted, Lazarus, come out. Friends, insert your own name. Hallelujah. Natalie, come out. Yabo, come out. Jennifer, come out. Sarah, come out. John, come out. Kenny, come out. Hallelujah. Whatever your name is, insert it. Come out. It is your word today. And the dead man came out, his hands and feet bound in grave clothes his face wrapped in a head cloth. Jesus told them, unwrap him and let him go. And friends, if you've heard this word this day, if you say, yes, I am ready to come out. I am ready to let go of the past. I am ready to embrace the comforter in my life. Then say this word after me. Say, Lord Jesus, thank you for your invitation today. Yes, come into my life. Take away the terrible smell of my past life, my past disappointment, my past challenges. I hear you calling my name, telling me to come out. And I say, yes, I come out of my grave clothes today. The shackles on my hands and my feet are broken today. Thank you for setting me free from this day forward. I choose to follow you as my personal Lord and Savior. I ask your forgiveness for all of my mistakes and allow your Holy Spirit to lead me from this day forward. Amen and amen. And friends, if you pray this prayer, welcome to the kingdom of God everlasting kingdom hallelujah you have many brothers and sisters 
around the world and in your community. Please find a Bible believing and a Bible teaching church in your community. Be plugged in, hallelujah, that you may grow in your faith, hallelujah, that your muster seed faith that you have given to the Lord Jesus today will grow like a mighty tree, hallelujah, unmovable, unshakable in the face of the enemy, hallelujah. We thank God for your life. Please email us. Our email is I help to inspire at gmail.com. So the word I help, the number two, and the word inspire at gmail.com. We love to get to know you and celebrate what the Lord has started in your life today. There shall be testimonies upon testimonies because you've made the best decision of your life. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Lord Jesus, we thank you for the ones that have come to you. Father, receive them. Father, strengthen them. Father, keep them under the shadow of your wings when no man, nothing can pluck them. In Jesus' mighty name, hallelujah. As we come into your presence, past the gates of praise, into your sanctuary till we're standing face to face look upon your countenance we see the glory of your face we can only bow down and say You've been awesome in our midst, mighty God. You've been awesome in this place, Abba Father. You are worthy of all praise. To you our lives we raise. You've been awesome in our midst, mighty God. You've been awesome in this place, mighty God. You've been awesome this hour, Abba Father. You are worthy of all praise. To you our hands we raise. You've been awesome in this place, mighty God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, everyone for joining us today. Thank you for those who will listen tomorrow, next week, next month. We want to say that there's no expiration date on this good news. It is alive throughout eternity. So regardless of when you hear this call, it is for you. Hallelujah. For Jesus shed his blood on Calvary Cross 2,000 years ago go, that you may come out from anything that is stopping you, hallelujah, to achieve the potential that God has placed in you, hallelujah. Be blessed. Have an awesome week. Please share our broadcast with your friends and your family so that this good news will reach a multitude for Jesus. Amen and amen. Bye for now. Hallelujah.